We just finished filming three incredible interviews at the International Center of Photography Museum. Anya Sear, director of the Henri Cartier-Bresson Foundation, legendary photographer Elliot Erwitt, ICP executive director Mark Lubell, and we're packing up our gear when Mark suddenly gave a holler from across the room. You know that old adage, the best camera is the one you have with you? Well, Claudia grabbed an iPhone and started filming. Six minutes straight is a long time to hold up anything arm's length, but it was worth it. Yes, okay, easy for me to say, so Claudia, yes, thank you again, as always. You, come here, I want to show you something. Yeah. Okay, so what we've done here is we've taken ICP's archive, or a portion of the archive, about 4,000 images of ICP's archive. A portion, how many images do you have? We have over 200,000 images, but. <laughs> so this is about 4,000 images. And I'm always trying to find ways that a, a general public would engage with, a, with an archive. And you, know, you see the fantastic shows that we have, but so many times the images get you know, buried in an archive. And how do, you, how do you get people to sort of engage and look at this yeah. um, in, in different ways? Yeah. So what we did was we took about 4,000 images. Um, there's different keywords. So you could click, for example, in the street. Now what it's doing is it's reorganizing street photography. It's going from 1869 to 2014. And I can just basically you know, go here and say, oh, let's look at street photography in 1909. This oh, is so here, slick. Here's a great picture from Lewis Hine. Let's click on Lewis Hine. Oh, look, he's playing street ball. But wait, I want to get a closer look at this. So you can, wow. you can do this. And now look on the screen here, it, 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 it blows up. You have some lights on so you can't really see, but you could really get into some incredible detail. Mark, this um, is fantastic. Yeah. And then you could just play around with this. So, you know, okay, this is, this is street photography. Now just, you can go to landscape photography. Urban um, landscape. Urban, urban landscape. landscape. 19, go, to, go to the 1950s. 19, yeah. So it's now going, these are all high oh, res images. My head is going to explode. And now you can, you can basically, uh, Eugene Smith, one of the oh, legends. fantastic. You can click on this if you want to get a, a closer look, you know, of, of this sort of work. Um, this is, more detail on you can this kind of is see fantastic. It, it here. So it's a, it's a great way, you know, we get a lot of young people that come into the museum and this is a way that they can kind of like quickly kind of feel engaged and get them interested. And who knows, maybe one of these images will spark them to study, you know, photography in the future. Please just tell me there is not functionality where if you s swipe left, that's it. No. Okay. You can't do that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Maybe they'll no, 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 no. No, the reason I know this is working is sometimes they go into the exhibit and then they try to touch the exhibit. Yeah, so that's a good sign. I think really the more you can get people engaged, the better. Oh, Gene Smith, one of my favorite photographers. Oh, I mean the tonality. It, you know what's fascinating? We we pixel peep. Uh, I pixel peep, and this is not sharp by the definition of today's cameras, but it doesn't matter at all because this is just an incredible image. Yeah. Now, what about what you're putting up online for people who can't get to the center? Well, this is really designed for the physical look. Yes. The physical experience. Yes. So this is not online. Now, we have thousands of images online, but uh, that's more traditional. You know, you type in Eugene Smith, you see what we have. Um, but this is different because you're kind of seeing things slightly out of context, related, you know, work that's uh, connected to other work um, through keywords. Um, but it, it's, it's more experiential, and I think when you have it, it you know, displayed all around you, um, it just kind of gets you, you know, interested. Oh, this is just incredible. I mean, this is practically minority report kind of stuff. <laughs> yes. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Now, and then you can see people will play around with this for hours, and then because it's being displayed here, people that are in the museum get to see someone else playing with it, and then that it, it perks their interest to come and engage with this work. This is just one example and an early example of things that we're trying to do at ICP to look at an archive and mine an archive in a different way. You know, normally there's three or four ways to go in an archive: going through a carver, uh, you know, a great curator comes in and sort of curates with a thesis in mind, right. but this is a, a way that's is a little bit more random and a way for people to kind of just get a, exposure to work. What's so lovely is that different people have different thinking styles and you address that 
Gordon Parks. Yeah. Yeah. Legend. Oh, incredible. Now, one of the things that you, I saw earlier is this moving rather than a step. A so the, the sleep mode is a little bit of a tire, you know, it sort gotcha. of starts having all these images. Gotcha. Come up. Okay. But when it's when you're actually working it, then uh, it's, it's an image at a time or it's three images if you're going to the time. You can also go to, on, on some of them, there's a magnum filter here because we did a magnum exhibition, so we want to do this. And I can click on you know, the actual photographers. I'm just picking... All right, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. No, 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 I want to pick. Well, I, I want to do like Cornell. Oh, okay. Cornell Capital, for example, I can actually now show you about... Now it's Cornell Video. So we have, on some of them, there's video. So here's Cornell, um, you know, oops, the sound is not on. Uh, oh, the, the speakers might not be plugged ah, in. Ah, yeah. But basically he's talking about the founding of ICP. So it's great to kind of, you know, now mix in video as well as still imagery. This is state of the art. Yeah, no, it really is. Mark, I am so excited <laughs> for you. Thank you for sharing this sure. with us. Thank you for experiencing it. <laughs> I got to get back here really soon. Man, I love ICP. You should come visit like yesterday or today when two retrospectives open to the public. The decisive moment showcasing Cartier-Bresson's work first appearing in the renowned book of the same name, and Pittsburgh 1950, showcasing Erwitt's work for the Farm Security Administration. It's just, wow, really, see them while you can. Run!